Hi, uh, welcome back to uh, our garden. Uh, Andrew, the haphazard Irish gardener here, um, reporting on our annual harvest. It's uh, late August and uh, we went away for a couple of weeks and all hell let loose in the garden and everything's grown way larger than we intended because we weren't here to pick it. Uh, but uh, today we've been weeding like crazy things and picking very large vegetables. So here we've got um, some cucumbers that are grown over plastic. Uh, the plastic's really good at uh, keeping the weeds down. Um, in an earlier video that you can see online, uh, explains why we use this plastic, but in short, it's A, a weed suppressor, and B, it generates a lot of heat. So for the warm crops like uh, zucchini, uh, eggplant and these cucumbers, uh, it, the, the, the soil gets really warm and the, and the plants love it. Um, so here you can see we've got some really healthy cucumbers here and in amongst all this vine these fat little fellas sitting here ready to be picked. Uh, I don't know if you can see that Doug. Here look there's three in a row here. Um, so those are good cucumbers and there's more besides and there's more coming. Here's a little baby in here. A little teeny one. It's about an inch long. <laughs> So um, those have come out really well. I'm really happy with those. Uh, beside the cucumbers, I'll tell you why we grow so many cucumbers is that my, my younger daughter is mad about pickles. And so we just take these, we slice them and we skin them and she puts balsamic vinegar on them, a crunch of salt and pepper and uh, she'll eat them all day long. So uh, that's why we grow them. Uh, and I like them too. Um, here's the basil. Um, if you keep deadheading, well not even deadheading, I mean deflowering, <laughs> that's the wrong word. <laughs> if you take the flower heads off the top of the, ba the basil, you will um, stop it going to seed. Um, and as a result, the basil gets this, becomes this really big bush. Uh, it doesn't get as leggy as it would as if it went to seed uh, and you can keep on cropping it for a good long time into the late summer um, and it's great on salads it's great pretty much on anything you want to put in it it's great on pizzas great on anything Italian uh, and we love it we eat a lot of it and as I was mentioning in the intro we um, we make a lot of pesto um, and uh, the reason why we do that is because it is a way of preserving this wonderful crop which as soon as it gets frosted will die so we collect as much as we can uh, and prepare it as pesto uh, and then uh, freeze those little bags which are we sort of one portion size bags uh, and it makes for a really quick simple meal in the middle of the week when you come home from work uh, as, as you know spaghetti and pesto or chicken barbecue chicken with pesto on it you can do you can use it as a, as a sauce you can use it um, mixed with spaghetti you can do all sorts of things with it it's wonderful it has a really intense lovely flavor how many uh, plants for one uh, family um, we have two lots this year. We've got this small patch, one, two, three, four. There's about half a dozen plants here. And there's another patch up on the other side of the garden, which is about the same again. Uh, we tend to need that, that many. So I would say a dozen plants in total. Uh, again, likes the full sun, likes being on the plastic. And uh, we haven't done much irrigation this year. So even without irrigation, this, this isn't a bad crop, okay? So let's go and look at the tomatoes um, and uh, we can talk about those.